Hey everybody, here's a true hidden gem. Samarkand restaurant. It is an Uzbeki restaurant. Samarkand is actually a city in Uzbekistan. This is located in Plymouth off 169 Highway 55. It's the only one in the state. It's a small family restaurant, seats about 50 people, maybe two or three more at the bar. The food seems pretty foreign, but it's actually close to Midwestern cuisine. Here's some tea. I started off with some mantu. These are beef and onion dumplings. And let me tell you, these things were super juicy and they were super good. These are hands down the biggest dumplings I have found in the Western Metro. These come with a side of Suzba, which is a type of sour cream, but uh, raw bite. Mm. Oh yeah. Check this out, check this out. Watch, 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 watch. Drip. And if you still happen to be here watching my jubilant pounding of dumplings, please do me a favor. Follow, like, comment, share. Help a guy out. So good. Uzbeki food is a combination between Russian, mm. Turkish, and Arabic. You can't get shawarma and borscht, but today we're just getting stuff more central to Uzbekistan. Up next, I got some Twi kebab, which is like the waiting kebab. It's basically a beef and tomato stew, really similar to like your grandma's pot roast, but sans the potatoes and carrots. Of course, my favorite way to eat it, side of bread here. I'm going to rip out the bread and dip, dip, dip. The bread, by the way, is made fresh in-house every day, so that's a pretty nice treat. This is an absolutely perfect dish for colder weather. The flavors in this are pretty mellow. There's nothing that's super overpowering, but it's not devoid of flavor either. And that beef is just super tender. Then to finish, I had Plaf's Markand, which is basically Uzbeki fried rice. Uh, this has garlic, onions, carrots, currants, and of course, some of that uh, braised beef there. And just look at this. The beef was super tender. Uh, minus that little piece of connective tissue right there, like strung it together, but it was just overall just melted in your mouth. Had I led with this dish, I would have absolutely just housed it in 30 seconds. While Uzbekistan may be halfway around the world, its cuisine is really close to home. It's got a lot of flavors and textures that a lot of Midwesterners are pretty used to and it's very approachable. You should definitely try it.